Fascinating. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the Governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with their kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cooled. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, Assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning, 